Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for the DK Barrel? <laughs> it's time for some pickups. Because we have to shout out the barrel. Yep. It's it's seriously better known than we are uh -huh. in the convention circuit. When uh, when we're there, people are like, oh, the DK barrel, I remember seeing that before. Who are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's starting to become more well known than we are. Uh, so, you know, pretty much anytime we need reservations at a restaurant, the DK barrel <laughs> calls it in. We do. Um, yes. But of course, you know, a nice rolling cart, easy to pack full of stuff, saves your back from the backpacks and everything. It does. And, uh, you know, real easy to get around. And it's iconic. People love seeing it. Yep. That being said, it is time to do our pickup video for VisionCon 2019. So, first of all, that is a really nice book it that they put out for It is a really Vision nice Con. book. It's nice and thick, so it's got all the information in there you need. And they had a little fun this year. And with their map... I love this map. It's Pac-Man! That is so good. That was totally cool and awesome. So yeah, not only do you have your map in here and your vendor information, you've got your events information. You know, that is if you didn't want to use the app. Some people like physical medias so that they can, you know, even though we used the app the whole time, I do like to have these for scrapbook purposes. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? So that's always fun. So we had that and then we had our lovely press pass badges. Oh hey, probably one of the best pickups. Uh-huh. Because the, the way the badges were for you normies out there, <laughs> just kidding, I love you. They were blank and then they had magic markers for you to write them in. But since we were special and we had press passes, are you really going to put that on your beard? <laughs> Does that hurt? We got ours printed anyway. So, and like last year when it was Casper Van Dien was the kind of their main guy and they had his like cybug thingies or whatever, they have the lovely Firefly uh, Serenity on there. Yeah, that's nice. So that was great. We enjoyed wearing those. Surprisingly, you did not go very nuts with pickups this time around. I didn't, but that's just because we kind of have a full plate this year of oh other conventions gosh. and things and other things going on. So, so you do kind of have to try to stretch the money a little. First and foremost, I, ha you know, I love my plushies <laughs> and I uh, love uh, crocheted items. And so this is what actually first caught my eye, just because orange is my favorite color. And I love octopuses or octopi. I don't know what, what is that? Octopus, just like deer. But uh, his little tentacles, it's a very clever idea. They're just, um, they're, they're crocheted in a way that they automatically twirl. But what I loved about it was just the feeling of his little tentacles in my hands. That was just <laughs> so neat. But someone did um, point out in the barrel or in the bucket of all of these little crocheted animals, a little Pikachu. And I've kind of getting, gotten a little attached to Pikachu ever since the Detective Pikachu movie was coming out. And I decided to play Detective Pikachu to get ready for the movie, which in turn made me kind of fall in love with Pikachu. <laughs> so, and he's just adorable. It I mean, look really at that. is cute. And I mean, that's so just good work. That's just And clever. yeah, the quality on these yeah, is incredible too. They're both too. just amazing. They're good tight knits mm -hmm. so that it they're does not feel shape. like they're going to come loose. You're not going to lose any stuffing or anything. So those yeah. are great. And they're just, they're just great. I love them. They were just really fun pieces. <laughs> this is a booth we've actually purchased from before. What are you getting? I'm getting a dice jail or dice dungeon. Because? Because we do have some bad dice, especially with um, Trash Panda. They have not been nice in Trash Panda. And we decided, all right, the next time we see them, we're buying that dice cage. So here we go. So what it says on the front, it just does say Dice Dungeon on it. And it's just a regular old cage with the neat thing on it is it's magnetized so you don't lose that lid. And it's just a good old hole. I mean, there's just a regular average D20. And uh, he's a bad D20 so he gets to go in there. Oh. <laughs> And also from their booth, I thought this was kind of cute. They are um, boneware. So, you know, instead of that bone china, this is <laughs> bone plastic. I don't know if any of you guys are old enough to know bone china. But uh, these, I just thought they were really cute. And sometimes it's fun to, you know, have some plastic utensils you can take to conventions or to ren fairs. And you always kind of want to have fun with it. So there's uh, the knife. 
and it's you know got a nice little ball on the end of there for the for the hip bone or the shoulder bone or whatever and then we got the spoon and on the back of the spoon you've got you know it's a nice hand and it's kind of a neat touch there's a skull right here and then the fork is just a hand so you know the next thing that I pick up, because I always have to get something from Amanda Lynn, because she's always got something new going on, I bought this really pretty um, chainmail bracelet here, and it's just, I loved it because it was just so delicate, and it's um, some of my favorite colors in there, some blues and greens and light blues, but the thing that really drew me to it is it's just so delicate, and she um, was saying it's a new to her line I guess you'd call it or, or what that she makes but it she started she's starting to work on some more delicate items I really thought it was just really pretty now just as a quick note actually if you are new to the channel then you are going to learn real quick that she loves her chainmail jewelry and you should definitely check this stuff out because chainmail isn't exactly the first thing that you would think of for jewelry mm -hmm. Neither is jewelry the first thing you would think of for chain mail. Exactly, yeah. So it is very clever in the designs of uh, bracelets and necklaces and all kinds of things. So definitely give it a closer look. Yes. A what look? A closer upper look. <laughs> we found a fun Star Trek booth and we got tickets. Sweet. I can't wait to use these. Unfortunately, it's for, an, for a function that is no longer around in Las Vegas anymore. But it was still fun to get these. Um, this is for the Star Trek experience in Las Vegas. Uh, it is gone. And I did get the pleasure of getting to go there, and sadly he did not. Yeah, she uh, rubs that in every chance I do, she gets. I do. But it's fun to have those tickets because, honestly, from when I went, I probably threw my tickets away. So that's fun to have that piece of history. There's always fun freebies that people give out at conventions or they just have on their table for you to get. We got like a fun Ghostbuster bracelet from uh, from the guys who, who dress up as Ghostbusters. Just, you know, a fun little bracelet. We got a fun little button that's, you know, letting you know about when game is going on. It, I think that's going on in October. So, you know, kind of like a, a fun pin, but also like, hey, remember, remindy thingy. And then Fox was one of the sponsors there. So they had a bunch of um, different stuff from some shows that were on Fox and so I love my squeezy thing so I had to get me a squeezy gavel. Order in the court. I knew she's gonna beat me with it. I told you, <laughs> told you guys she likes the foam stuff because it doesn't leave bruises. I know. Not on the outside. This is fun. You can hit your friend on the head with it, but don't hit him on the head with it. Something else cool that I like to collect are Hot Wheels toys and we also like to collect the Hot Wheels Back to the Future toys. Yes. And we've got quite a few of the different DeLoreans, or some we are missing. But this one I had never seen before. This is the uh, car that, what gets on it? Manure! I hate manure! Manure! I hate manure! I hate manure. I'm gonna get that son of a bitch. Was it real manure? No. But it's a movie. How cool is that? It's the car. It's, <laughs> That's gross. It's Biff's car covered in manure. So I had never seen that one before. I didn't even know it existed. Don't lick the manure. Why do you always have to lick things? You're like a baby who has to immediately go to your mouth. <laughs> but, you know, I knew about all the DeLoreans and we're just kind of trying to find Oh my gosh, that was exciting. Them as we go. Oh, you. Ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know the manure comes off so that you can see the beautiful red interior. It cleans up nicely. <laughs> so it's very movie accurate. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I think it's probably supposed to come off. It comes off really easy. So I guess if you want the car from the movie undirty, you can have it undirty. Or how do you know how to start my car, old man? <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. So if you guys know of any other um, Back to the Future Hot Wheels cars out there other than the DeLoreans, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for those. I did not see, sadly, very much Spider Gwen love again. I'm not sure what the deal is. We went all over Branson Con, didn't see any Spider Gwen love. All over Vision Con, no Spider Gwen love. But I did find a booth in, in the artist booth, and her name was Simply Kits. And she did a lot of really fun, whimsical, cutesy um, art and everything. And she drew a line of Spider Verse bears. So 
We've got Spider Gwen here, my fave, and then you've got you know Miles Morales and Spider Man, and um, just in different costumes and everything. So I thought that was cute. And these are uh, vinyl stickers that are like waterproof, and you can put on like your drinkware, or your binders. I wouldn't recommend backpacks; they'll probably come off on backpacks. But <laughs> so I just thought that was really neat. And she also had these in buttons, but I like my stickers. I like my buttons and my stickers, but this time I wanted some stickers because I got a. A new go mug that is just naked and i don't like naked mugs spider bears spider bears running around in spider underwear <laughs> <laughs> well that was weird <laughs> next that i got was from the dungeon crafters and i got me a cute little like water dragon it's what i think he is she said he's whatever you want him to be but to me he looked like a water dragon and you can see kind of is that what water dragons make <laughs> that's a whale <laughs> whales are just chubby water dragons too much krill okay but the thing that I liked about her is she actually labeled this a shoulder dragon. And you can tell by, you know, how she's given it a nice hump and it actually holds that thing. And it, like, sits there pretty dead gum perfectly. So I was really impressed with that. I mean, it was just a plushie and there's nothing to, like, you know, m stick him to you. But I was just really impressed. It's like, okay. It's very cute. He is adorable. I love him. And I picked up one of her little uh, 3D printed figure, uh, little door dungeon pieces. I was just really, really impressed with it. I'm going to stick it in my fairy garden somewhere. I'll Be fit it in there. Because it is a functional door. It is. It's it a functional door. It opens and closes on both sides. Um, it's got, you know, the, the really nice stonework on it. And the neat thing about her, her pieces is they have these interlocking holes so that you can lock them together so that your dungeon doesn't come apart, which is always nice. You don't want your dungeon to come apart. I plan to get a lot more pieces from her. Can't not talk about... Oh, there it is. The, the autograph, autograph picture. Hey, check it out, guys. She even let my I name did. be on this one, too. I did. In the past, when I've been getting autographs, I've always felt bad because I just get all excited. And they're like, who do you want to make it out to? And I'm like, Lacey. <laughs> and I do sound that dorky, too. And then I realize... And they point at me and they go, what about this guy? And she goes, I don't know. Who, I don't what know guy? who he is. But I feel bad because he's always so p nice enough to wait in line with me and not make me wait there by myself. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start having his name be on there with me. Oh. So, you know, I figured I married the man. I might as well do it. So, so a lovely picture of Miss Jewel State. Being Dr. Keller. And she says, um, lots of love from the Pegasus Galaxy, which is where Stargate Atlantis is in. You have to have an extra chevron to get there. So I thought that was fun. Love. Love me some jewel. My grandma had a Chevron that she kept parked in the garage and only drove it to church. That's a Chevy. Okay. <laughs> and then, like we said in our floor video, <laughs> we had to pick up um, our first copy of Zombie Dave. And it the is... The fabulous first issue. Yes, the fabulous first issue. The Paranormal Misadventures of Zombie Dave. And this is actually a pretty fun read. I've been... I, I've read this one and uh, couldn't wait till we to read it when we got home because he um, talked about it at the show and just really made it sound a lot of fun. So there's a there's one particular thing in here that I think is pretty funny and it's uh, the Thor clock sock monkey. That's pretty great. And then the last bit that I picked up was from Dragonfly Studios and I picked up this really cute faux leather. Um, little notebook and the neat thing about it is it's got your latch on top and your corner protector things but it's actually made out of um foam it's not real leather nice. but it looks and feels like real leather and she's um the artist who she drew this on there and it's kind of etched into it so it's not just going to kind of rub off which i thought was kind of neat and then the really neat thing about it on the inside is you can pull the notebook out and replace it so always love the stuff is. that has the replaceable yes. notebooks because Be sometimes you want to just keep reusing exactly that cover it's like this is so cute i don't want to like fill up the book and then not have anything to do with it anymore and i also adopted one of these little puffkin things and um they've got a, a wiry bendy tail and i actually kind of hooked it on the the barrel and rode around the whole time there's just this cute i mean there's just it kind of looks like a puffy kitty and you got a little um birth or adoption certificate for it and i actually named this poof 
Vizzy Khan, V I Z Z I K Khan. It's just so stinking cute. I absolutely love it. And I imagine that Vizzy Khan will probably live on the barrel and go to every convention from, from now on. Pretty sure. And then we also, you know, got this really cool cup. It was $5 for the cup. And every time you went to this certain uh, concession stand, your refill was free, which is awesome yes. because you go buy a 20 ounce that they had there and it was like three fifty for a 20 ounce. And, you know, you kind of go through those a couple of times. Water bottles, I think, were $4. So when it's free, you're going to drink it. The other thing is, is for when we went to the... Um, Hooligans trivia panel. Everybody got uh, 3D glasses because you know 3D glasses are cool, right? Right. <laughs> well, isn't that what we're gonna ask? Where's it with the glasses? And we won a Rose Funko Pop. And first place with 30 points and winning Rose Tyler is Do You Nerd? Oh, oh. <laughs> so I should also note when we went in there. This weird guy came up to us and he gave us one more present. Apparently it was the breath from his lungs. <laughs> well, all right, nerdlings. That is the pickup that we got this haul. And as usual, I'm the one who did all the picking up and Tom did not buy anything. I guess you could say I picked this up for you, maybe. You like that movie? Mm, great. You get shit, car. Oh, don't poop, poop, poop on Pikachu! Guess what Pikachu is. <laughs> I don't think I want to guess. Anyway, so, <laughs> nerdlings, if you happen to like the video, please leave a like. Definitely drop some comments down below about what you thought of any of these. There are going to be links when applicable to all of the shops and all the creators that we got this stuff from. And be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because actually, I think that's it yeah. of the VisionCon videos. This is videos. the last VisionCon video. But thank you so much for sticking with us. Thank you guys at VisionCon for allowing us to come as yes. press pass uh, guests so that we could talk to everybody and just have a great time. I had so much fun at Vision Con this year. And, uh, you know, obviously we, we came home with lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. We filmed lots of goodies to share with everyone to show you guys just how cool conventions can be, how much fun they can be. And sometimes you don't even realize that these conventions are closer than you think. Yep. So, you know, check them out. They're totally worth it. They're a lot of fun. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world and to know what is coming next because Do You Nerd has other things coming at you. Don't forget to go over to Tee Public and buy our merchandise because we want to see you in our shirts, nerdlings. So, what do we always say? If we like it, we nerd it! Does this sound like I'm on old time radio? A little bit. As long as it's not a creepy one. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Oh, nope. No. 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 No.